I met with a client today, and he's the owner of a uh, of a property, and we were discussing his uh, living trust. And one thing he wanted to do was protect his girlfriend. Uh, this is a, uh, a person that's in a committed relationship. She has uh, children from a prior relationship. He has children from a prior relationship. And uh, so it's his, yours, mine. Uh, and the house that he owns, uh, he's owned for quite, quite a long period of time. And he wants his three children to inherit the property, but he wants to protect his girlfriend and not have her be pushed out. And he doesn't think his children are gonna do that, uh, but he's not quite sure. And uh, so we were wrestling with the decision of whether to say that in the event that he passes away, that she could reside there for the remainder of her life. Um, that was one option. Or just leave the home to his children outright and take the chances. Or for another period of time, such as five years or three years or one year. So as of right now, it's a work in progress. Um, what we have resolved to do, so it's the client and with my assistance, in the event that he should pass away, um, his girlfriend can stay in the home for a period of one year. Now, what we haven't worked out is whether or not she's going to have to pay real property taxes, homeowner's insurance, uh, water and sewer. Because right? those are the utilities on the home. And unfortunately, if the house uh, is uh, in a fire or burns down or something unforeseen, some calamity or hazard insurance so who's going to pay for that while she's there so it's a work in progress if you need to discuss the options that may be available to you reach out